Hi guys, for today's tear down, yes, this piece of uh, Soviet avionics, the PPK uh, program loader module, as it seems it is written here something about program. So it must be to load some uh, mission control program in a uh, flight computer. I believe it is from uh, Suroy or Ilyushin uh, bomber aircraft. Uh, some uh, status lights here that are not really easy to read. And of course the most important thing on the top here, this uh, card reader that will actually open like so. And then you can flip this open like this to load some kind of a card that will go inside. I can re can't really tell what we have inside because it is a very thin uh, slot uh, actually. But uh, and it looks like we have a push button actuated here behind this uh, lever. So it is just connected with one big plug with this uh, where the sleeve around and on the back we have what seems to be a fuse cover the uh, manufacturer plate here with a serial number and uh, uh, nothing else so it is quite weird it is written in uh, handwritten here so first I will need it looks like the cover will slide out if I undo first two screws here that should reveal a regular uh, Amberton fuse holders I believe yes I was right as always of course so, uh, as expected, and we have two screws here and two screws here, keeping the back cover in place. So here on these screws, as you can see, we still have a factory seal. So I can try to turn the work wheel with pliers, and maybe it will it will come loose. Yes, uh, it is good because. By doing so, I will not damage the original uh, factory seal, and I might be able to reinstall it. So it is quite a fail in this design, actually, because you can remove the screw without damaging the seal. Interesting. I have a second one that would be a little bit more tedious because it is in the angle here and this one it looks like it would be a little bit more difficult so this one will not come so we need to dig in the black thing here and find the slot of a screw like this Okay, I have a spare of these uh, cups for uh, seeds anyways, so and now I can remove the two remaining screws on the top which are not uh, secured and the wall cover should slide off revealing the contents which I have no idea at all of what it will be so are you ready let's do it or try to at least because the wire is in the way and ok can I unroute the connector out of the cover no Ah, it is quite annoying, but uh, no choice. Okay, we have what seems to be, 
I believe it must be a punch card you insert in this. Most probably, and as you can see, it is uh, actually uh, made for uh, the card size must be not far from uh, 20 centimeters. And it looks like we have uh, little lumps here and uh, probably photo cells in here. Uh, there is. Uh, well, it is very nice inside here, but how to open it with not too many damage. Here is the other side. We have a bunch of circuit boards here, obviously. Stuck together with little hinges. Here is a very nice uh, switch on the front. Wafer uh, Atari selector. Some uh, power transistors here. And uh, here some grounding terminal. Very nicely made as you can see. Okay, so I am trying to figure out what I can do if I can undo this uh, top section here completely yes it looks like here we have hand stops that will prevent the thing from sliding any further it looks like we have a, a motor in this so Maybe there is some uh, motor action. I can see a gear here, and probably a motor. So I will try to undo this uh, top uh, module here. But first, I believe we will look have a look at the circuit boards because it will be the first, the easier thing to do. So we will first do this. The circuit boards we have quite a nice um, stack of circuit boards. Yes, with a big uh, screws over them. So it is in my uh, uh, burst transmitter, shell viter down of the burst transmitter, the same kind of stack of uh, stack of cards. For sure, this has never been opened since the factory. Who knows which secrets I will reveal? Some alien technology, maybe. Very long screws here to uh, clamp together all the circuits, all the bonds. Okay, we are in. So it is a stack. So this one we just have some uh, wires going to terminals and uh, soldered, bridged together or not, as you can see. Some kind of a configuration board it looks like, where you can uh, choose to connect or not uh, wires together. Here we just really have just wire looms. So first uh, board with uh, ICs. There is one not populated here in the middle. Here there is a screw going through the IC spot. The screw hole at least. And very nice uh, Soviet gold ceramic ICs with uh, very heavy conformal coating over them. And uh, over side is the same on this one, and we have actually two boards together here. They are uh, even uh, screwed together. Next board is the same flavor, except for uh, red things here. And you can see the yes, the spots for the ICs have one more uh, free 
pad available for uh, I see with two more legs but they are not been have not been used quite interesting I zoom in for you can you see this yes everyone has uh, two unused uh, pads and look at that all the wires go here at the bottom it is quite incredible they are all the same color with this little uh, organizer piece with uh, holes to route them in front of their correct spot same stuff here and here we have something different at least uh, big orange diodes with big resistors well big and here more of the um, same ICs you cannot see it very well because it will not uh, flip out of the way because mostly of the big wire harness here that will not uh, accept to be bent any more than this so I can see mechanical stuff here at the bottom more electronics here some kind of uh, closed and secure box in this actually which seems to be very interesting so I will reinstall this board and then we will try to open the top part so uh, I didn't screw here this front piece because it seems it will be necessary to be able to remove the wall loader thing and now I see uh, four screws here on the sides that seem to be securing this assembly ok um, interesting Ok, let me grab the power screwdriver. So I hope it will work because it seems very, very tight. No, I need to dig a little bit in the screw slots, I believe. Looks like the screws are uh, attached with a paint glued in place, but still it does not explain why they are so hard to undo. On this bit, it is actually a little bit too thin. Let me try to see if I have a better one uh, that will just fit in these screws. too big. Oh, this one seems to be good. So I will figure it out and I will be right back. So finally the screws are off. It was not easy. Well, it looks like this was assembly should lift off. Not totally sure, in fact, what is supposed to happen now because the front is one single piece. And this, I'm clicking, but I'm not sure if it is the same piece or not. I see no other uh, link, in fact, anything uh, keeping stuff together, no, this is a ground. But it has been in this uh, configuration for very long, so maybe it will not uh, come off so easily. Oh. 
I think, I think I did scratch spot two extra screws here on the front. That might be keeping it in place. Oh, this is a fact. Look at this. I turn the screwdriver, but the handle will turn around the screwdriver shaft. It is very convenient. Yes. I really want to see a little bit more of what there is inside this, but Here. Or maybe this piece here. It is not easy, guys. Because we have this uh, piece here, this thing. Not sure if it is uh, attaching or not the, f the loader mechanism. Yes, it is totally still attached in the front. So I will undo, anyways, this uh, plate over the controls, the lights. Maybe we have more screws. Excuse me, it is not uh, super convenient. So flat head uh, screws here. size you can really tell it has not been taken apart in a long time So this is coming off, except for the knob here, which uh, has a set screw, which uh, I do not want to strip. Uh, so excuse me. Seems it is good. Anyway, the shaft is a little bit bent on this control, so yes, it should come off. There is no other set screw, so yes, no, it is loose at least, but okay. So as you can see, a little bit of damage here. I will try to correct gently. So now I can undo this front plate. That will reveal the backlight stuff. And I will take this opportunity to show you there is my light. Show you the, what we have in the here written. Okay, here is what looks like the backlight mechanism. Well, backlight assembly, just a circuit board with uh, little bulbs. And it does not uh, actually help a lot because I still can't undo this uh, assembly here. I believe it is stuck by this thing here. So 
Uh, let's try to undo this. It tells a clip that could come off, yes. I need to drive this out of the way. no luck because I see uh, it will move nowhere so I guess sadly we will not discover what we have under here it is really annoying guys I do not see any other uh, hidden screw So let me figure it out a little bit more, please. So it is a last chance because after uh, much investigations, uh, look what I found here. It looks like a lock pin. That can actually be driven out. And that is falling off the way and we have another one on the other side why 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 putting lock pins while you already have a number of screws no idea we need to remove it completely because okay here we are, and now it should be much better. So it was not necessary to undo the uh, front uh, piece here, obviously. Here is what we have. So a wall uh, bunch of uh, little things that I will not be really able to remove. Maybe this one because we were, the other ones here are uh, soldered together with a uh, rigid uh, piece, but this one seems it is only connected with wires on the ground. So I guess we have lights at one side and the uh, photo cells at the other one, but it is not coming off, so I will not disturb it. Sorry, but really, this thing is quite annoying already, and I don't want to do too many damage. But I was interested by what seems to be a super secret module here at the bottom. You can see here we have more terminal boards with power distribution, probably. Yes, must be this. Uh, some uh, round ices here and uh, green flat ices here. The motor I was uh, pick, speaking about previously, driving the drawer assembly. And uh, on here we have some uh, sensors probably for the uh, to detect if any card is inserted or not. Mem and maybe the position of the car because it looks like it will read the car maybe like this several times. So I would like a very thick uh, wire harness here as you can see. Um, more uh, circuit boards on the sides. The piece I did remove here in the front which it was not necessary to undo. Here, so we need to install this. And so we are left with this uh, secret box. We will see if it is possible to lift uh, oops, uh, this PCB without uh, losing too, too many screws in the thing. Sorry. Can I put this on the side? Yes, uh, it is better. 
So really a super tedious thing as you can see. Uh, it is really not done for uh, regular uh, repairs, uh, on the field repairs at least. There is not a single internal connector. Everything is hardwired in. Oh, it looks like we are lucky because I see two more screws that will not turn with this screwdriver. Piece of garbage. Let me find uh, where is it? My other little screwdriver. It is on the floor, of course. So there is a model number written here, FI I 20 dash Q. There is a screw that will be difficult to reach to reinstall. So I have no idea. Maybe, maybe. Is it possible? We get core memory in this thing. Should be nice. But sadly it totally looks like it will not come off I didn't screw the cover but nothing is moving so what I do not know if it is if we have screws on the other side uh, behind the circuit boards to this module so I will need to check this and I will be right back so I was right, there are screws on the, at the other side keeping this module in place. It was very tedious to remove them, but uh, now I can pull and I can remove this cover and reveal nothing special except one uh, quartz oscillator. More uh, ices and uh, where the round stuff here probably some kind of little uh, Torida transformers so I was expecting core memory or something like this but not obviously here is the little shielded box in which it goes so it must be uh, the main uh, associator for the thing different clock or something like this as obviously it is very well shaded. So uh, I guess it will wrap this uh, video. Uh, now I need to put back everything together. As you can see it was extremely tedious. I was not expecting so much problems in fact. Oh, look at this when I flipped this front. I did reinstall this off camera. And actually we have micro switches here at the bottom. A wall gang of micro switches. Okay, so uh, quite a nice device in particular for this uh, optical uh, punch card uh, readout. As it seems, it is this. Yes, a lot of little uh, bulbs on the photo cells, but as you can see, it is very tedious so I cannot really take it apart because here you have little wires linking everything together. So maybe, wait, well, you know what, actually, uh, given how complicated it has been already, why not try to do this part here and have a look which one, this one. <coughs> really, this thing is hating me. Every screw is uh, hard to undo or difficult to reach. <coughs> or will not give the expected result when I'm doing so try not to lose anything so I am able to flip this thing out of the way and have a look as you can see probably it will not work why? Okay, it is just glued, it seems. Okay, so at least uh, uh, more extra tiny screws, but you can see, yes, tiny holes. So for sure, one side is uh, photo cells or photodiodes, and the other side is uh, 
little lights and here I have uh, little uh, clips to spacers to reinstall it will be really fun so I guess it is all for this video I will put everything back together and stay tuned for the video about the other unit bye bye